he is anyone who who knows him knows that he's got a very large presence on social media and he pr promotes a lot of events so uh how was this one congratulations finish first how'd you find the course yeah i think it was fun because you had to kind of slow down a bit in the technical mix and then you can really pick it up on the you know more runnable parts so it made for a pretty fun course and uh yeah it's a nice climb solo we are heading the camera <laughs> <laughs> Lane. We're halfway, actually, are we halfway? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah Roughly, roughly. Um, we're having a quick dinner stop because uh, I'm very hungry. I think Sophie's very hungry. Um, yeah. She got a wrap? I got a wrap. I'm not yeah. going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. Not on camera. I got butter chicken. Is that mine? Maybe. Alright. We are here at yeah. the cupping room. Hello. <laughs> we're a bit early for the shakeout run. <laughs> Is anyone going to show up? That's yeah, that's the question. Show them the rain. Yeah. <laughs> Probably doesn't look that bad. It, there's yeah. a little bit of flooding, so um, the shoes yeah. and the socks are going to be foggy. So I think they have backup shoes. Yeah, I brought three pairs of shoes for this trip. Only so, uh, three. Yeah. <laughs> How many did you bring? Two. Okay. One today, one tomorrow. Yeah. But yeah, I think we will have at least a few people because we have people saying they will come, right? Yeah, well, but I think it's all about the quality. Yeah, exactly. So even if it's just us two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are in the rain. Ideal weather. I'm kidding, it's not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're. First time in camera, it's 12 years, and I have to cop this. If you couldn't hear, he said first time in camera, and he has to cop this. Well, yeah. Yeah, I hope I can get my bib. <laughs> That's all I care about right now. Little obstacle course to get to the bib picker. Yeah, my shoes are short. I won't bother too much anymore. This is actually good. We don't even need to leave here. <laughs> um, welcome to Crypto. Um, apparently, this is a pretty good room, and I agree. To be honest, I mean, it is nice to have a huge bed. Um, yeah, you always have to jump on the bed to test it. Um, yeah, we got a desk here. I got a, a big boy video project that I'm working on. I'm getting paid for it a lot. Well, I shouldn't say a lot, but. Um, yeah, so I need to focus on the editing and get that done. Hopefully today, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, we got a little check here. Very nice. Nice artwork. You know, I, I always appreciate a bit of artwork in the hotel rooms. And uh, yeah, we got a side table on both sides. Oh, yeah. Storage. I never use the storage at hotels, so I'm scared of like forgetting it. Like, is that... Just me or I don't know. I don't know. I, well, I used the storage last time, yeah. but then again, I was there for, for <laughs> those all those days. So yeah. Pretty stoked to be here. I didn't originally plan on coming. Got a free entry. We won't talk about how, but uh, yeah. For once, I packed relatively minimal. So we got the shakeout run shoes. I did a nice supernova rise. Didn't really put much thought onto what to bring. I just picked out the first pair of shoes. We got the Nike Vaporfly 3. Oh, dude, you're gonna want to see this. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So can he? Boom, look at that new race kit. Fresh. So we got that. Yep. And then we got some shorts. This to go with it. So, yeah. Matching Pretty shorts. Matching seaming shorts. With the bag, boom. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. I brought some juice. Shout out to David Morton for hooking me up. <laughs> and yeah, apart from that, nothing much. Just chilling. Brought my headphones so I can work on my video later. But there's the unpacking. Ian, you want to show the bathroom? Um, <laughs> you can do the weird part of the oh, crypto. Yeah. <laughs> you love to make me do the weird part. <laughs> Alright, just the bathroom here. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. They've supplied shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Okay. Isn't that normal for a hotel? Like, room? as in, like, uh, big, big ones like that. Normally, oh, yeah, the, the little bits, the little ones. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think uh, they're being eco friendly, which you respect other yeah. stuff. Hotel or whatever it's called. Yeah. Is that toilet where you're gonna be doing your pre race shoot? <laughs> Alright, anyway, what else were you gonna say? Mm. Nice TV or what? Yeah, for the TV, yeah. as you can get. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Doors out. Yeah. 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 Y
the shake out running strides is done. Honestly, legs feeling pretty heavy. Um, I think I know why though. I'm pretty sure it's to do with dehydration. Like I'm genuinely so thirsty. And we don't have any water in the hotel room. So I reckon we need to go to the lobby, ask for a bit of water. Um, yeah, I felt pretty thirsty the whole run and the whole day. My pee is so yellow as well. So I think that's something serious that we need to address in the last few hours of this day before it's too late. I think it's fine to be slightly dehydrated on race day, but the day before, you actually want to be super hydrated, in my opinion, off anecdotal experience. So, yep. um, I just thought that out now. Yep. Cheers. Uh, we're going to what's it called? Vanilla Pod. Mate Stephen Chong is somewhere out the front. He said. All right. So, yeah. Excited for pasta, man. Final carb load for the race. Yes, indeed. Yeah, one of the times that you randomly rock up to this lobby. Yeah. yeah. In Canberra, we'll find. Yeah. Wow. Time. What a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Stephen. How are you feeling for tomorrow? Really all right. I'm not... Half marathon? Yeah, half marathon. I got a free ticket and I kind of forgot about it until three weeks ago. So I'm not <laughs> super invested, but yeah. it will be nice to do a fast half marathon. I haven't done like a proper half marathon since med school days back in Tamworth. And that yeah. one, I don't think was like a full half marathon either. It was like 20-ish Ks. Yeah. So we got to see what happens out there on the road. Yeah, for sure. Same here. I got a free bib from someone else like last minute. So. Yeah, not too invested, but I'm just gonna have fun out there. But I think more importantly, we wish the goat eats you luck and he will do well. We know it. He's fit. Well, Ian's scared because he's only done a 12 week block, but I was saying his Melbourne Barra 18 week block will roll over to this as well, right? Yeah, it's 12 week. Running doesn't work like that, man. Like, you don't do an 18 week block, you lose all the fitness, and then you do a 12 week block, you know? Like, it's almost as if you've done a super long block now. So you'll be fine. How are the hunger levels right now? What's your carb loading plan here? Just as many carbs as I can fit. Really. Right, what did you order? Um, so I've started by got some garlic bread here. There's like four more of these coming. <laughs> That's gonna be his dinner. <laughs> Five um, of these. I did also order lasagna, so yeah. Go to Mahara, chilling in bed, eating zoo, and getting his band work done. Yeah. Talk us through the pre race routine, eating zoo. Mm, so I just had, um, so it was, uh, kindly um, let me grab one of his juice poppers um, <laughs> just to get a bit of a few calories and carbs in. Um, just doing a bit of just like trying to wake up the body a bit, especially because of. Because I've had a bit of um, hip issues, and especially on the left side. Just get a few squats in, I reckon. And you put the pings on in the morning type of guy? Um, I'm usually, I usually put it, yeah, in the morning. Yeah. Normally, I would uh, put the singlet on and put, do it on there. Yeah. Not, usually not the neatest thing, but it like takes a bit more time. <laughs> Actually. All right, Ian. Oh, All right, Ian, explain what we're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, warming up. So it is now 5.53, start is in 22 minutes, so at 6.15, so I've still got to get this bag dropped, and yeah. We'll make it up. Yeah. Well, yeah, got my big camera legs in my bag, so it's quite heavy. <laughs> yeah. Got some pictures of the math and start. Oh. You want to get wet? Yeah, warming up a lot. I'm probably going to do like a... 7k warm up for a half marathon, um, which is quite a lot. I usually do a bit less for longer races, but it's alright. It's not like an actual race for me today. Still, Matt. Alright, 
Oh shit, I didn't plan what to say. <laughs> I want to recap the camera race a little bit because otherwise this vlog is going to end very abrupt, abruptly. But in short, I kind of expected the camera race to be pretty crap. I did tell a few people that I was going to go a bit more conservative and tempo it. But as soon as I got to the start line and I found myself near the front with the preferred starters, Temptation got to me and I ended up going out with the people that I usually would go out with thinking that I could still run that pace and clearly I couldn't. Um, I was pretty surprised to like go through the 5k at uh, 17 low or whatever considering how unfit I am. So I was pretty pleased with that because I still ran that and then finished the half and did actually more distance. I ended up running 24k. I think the more important thing I want to talk about in this little section is that with this sort of stuff when you're coming back from an injury you kind of have to tick a few boxes where you do a few harder runs and it's going to be really really tough and you're going to get sore like during the run quite early on and there's no way to avoid that so you kind of just have to take it and kind of move on so it had to happen at some point anyway so i feel like it's nice that it happened to camera where i kind of ticked it off now and i'm a bit more used to the pounding on the legs i guess you could say so i feel more prepared for my upcoming races so yeah that's kind of all i have to say really i i guess 8Ks I did pretty alright, like I ran a decent pace and then I definitely started feeling it so I kind of toned down the pace and then I started helping other people out that I knew in the race. Yeah, like Mixu, Justin, John and all those guys. Um, Because everyone was having a pretty tough day out, so yeah, I felt like I might as well help people out rather than DNFing. Because I feel like DNFing isn't something I really want to do because it becomes a habit, a bad habit. Um, so yeah, I guess that's my thought process and reflection on camera but if you saw my Strava activity my my one word reflection on camera was can bra <laughs> but yeah I guess that's about it I'm at Balmora Beach today I'm gonna go for a little recovery swim and um, thank you to Beth for filming <laughs> you're very welcome <laughs> thoughts on uh, your race? Um, we'll, we'll gradually forget them. I think at the moment, I think as good as I could was not the race I had, but I don't think I had any regrets. No regrets, which is one thing. What did you get? Place, 7th place. Um, seventh place. Absolute legend. <laughs> uh, 239. Bit of a uh, blow was not, not a pretty blow up, but yeah, not the... Um, I wouldn't say it's a failure, so yeah. <laughs>